spring breaks nearly here and then summer fast approaching. And as you start thinking about camps for your kids, a timely warning from a mom who nearly lost everything. Her son ended up in the hospital fighting for his life. An athlete completely healthy on the outside. No sign anything was wrong until one game where it all went very wrong. Jaron Holden survived sudden cardiac arrest, and that scare prompted a lifelong mission for his parents. We have right now his mom, Dana Holden, in studio. Thank mm. you so much for joining Thank us. You for having me. And I really appreciate the work that you're doing here. Uh, she is spending her time, her resources, aimed at saving other kids. And with that, once again, thank you for joining us thank this you. midday. Thank you. Dana, yes. would you mind walking us through what happened three years ago? Sure. Uh, Jaron was trying out for his eighth grade basketball team. Um, both my husband and I were present for that evening tryout. Um, he ran a few drills and everything was fine. Um, and then he stopped and tried to walk off the court and he collapsed face forward. Um, initially we thought he was just being a typical teenager full of theatrics, mm -hmm. um, but then we realized he's not getting up. So um, there was one of the moms who was there as a medical professional and the coaches began CPR and had to use the AED mm -hmm. that was stationed not too far from where he collapsed. Um, he had to be um, care flighted to Children's Hospital and was on life support for an entire week, which uh, took the doctors and the medical professionals there to even figure out what caused his sudden cardiac arrest. Um, thankfully, they were able to figure it out and um, realized that he had a congenital heart defect we had no idea yeah, about. Yeah, AAOCA. Yes, anomalous aortic origin of the coronary artery. Rare, it's a rare defect. Very rare defect, and I just learned recently that there was even some more um, things that were going on that were even more rare with his wow. heart. So um, once he had open heart surgery to correct it, his heart had to heal for about six mm -hmm. months where he wasn't supposed to be doing any running or anything, mm -hmm. but he wasn't compliant because oh. by then he was 14. He turned 14 mm -hmm. in the hospital and was bouncing the ball all over the place just because he loves basketball, but after those six okay. months, he was released to play basketball again. And just oh this goodness. year, he finished his um, sophomore <laughs> year playing on the JV basketball team at Cedar Hill. He's so handsome. Thank so you. yes, and he looked completely healthy on the outside. Good yes. looking kid at that as well. But on the inside was where the issue is. I mean, open heart surgery, so much to take a 13 year old yes. kid. Yes. I mean, mom, I mean, what was that like for you? It was very scary for both my husband and I, and we had my daughter who was away in college. So it was oh. a very scary thing to um, have to deal with, uh, just not knowing what mm -hmm. was going on, having to let my daughter know, your brother is critically ill, we need to get you here. So it was quite a bit that we went through. Um, it's a panic mode. Oh yeah. It's a yeah, constant panic definitely, mode here. And definitely. something so obscure like that. And after right. everything that you and Jaron went through, mm -hmm. your husband, Jaron Sr., yes. you formed Holden Strong. Tell us about your mission? Yes, because we want no other parent or family to experience the trauma of seeing their child collapse and lifeless on the floor or sadly um, seeing their child in a coffin. Mm. Um, we provide heart screenings to student athletes from 11 years old through 25 if they'd like to come as well. Um, this as, weekend? Yes, this, this weekend, weekend yes. on Saturday, March 9th. Um, and in addition to that, we will provide uh, CPR training. Wow. Because even when Jaron collapsed, of course, the other kids were there. They had to move them out of the way, mm -hmm. of course, but um, none of them were able to say, hey, I know what to do, let me help. But of course, since then, they are all CPR and AED trained and certified through the American Heart Association. And that was really the difference, especially with yes. uh, Jaron's survival there, is that fast action. Yes, yes. Those first five minutes are very critical, and he received excellent Mm. care during those first five minutes before the first responders got there and of course they did everything that they could until we got to the hospital mm. to be stabilized so yes wow. that is very critical thank you so much dana for thank sharing you. your story with thank us we you. really appreciate that and your event that's phenomenal i mean no parent wants to go yeah. through anything no parent no guardian wants to see that and so educate yourselves get that training once again here are the details the march madness community wide heart screening is this saturday from 9 a.m to 1 p.m you get screened there you learn about CPR, you learn about AEDs. It's at Community MBC in DeSoto, and we're posting the info at WFAA.com slash links. Thank you so much, Mrs. Thank Holden. You for having we me. really appreciated having Thank you. you.